26-0. As to the charge of first-degree murder, verdict as to count one, we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, on this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of aggravated child abuse, verdict as to count two, we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of aggravated manslaughter of a child, Verdict as to count three, we the jury find the defendant not guilty, so say we all, dated at Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the chart providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict as to count four, we the jury find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to law enforcement officer, verdict as to count five. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict as to count six. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Sorry. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all, data Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this 5th day of July, 2011, signed for person. As to the charge of Providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict is to count seven. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of providing false information to a law enforcement officer as charged in the indictment. So say we all, dated Orlando, Orange County, Florida, this fifth day of July, 2011, signed for person. Madam Clerk, you may poll the jury. Juror number one, were these your true and correct verdicts? Pardon? Juror number one, were these your true and correct verdicts? Not that. Were they all your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number two, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number three, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number four, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number five, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number six, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number seven, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number eight, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number nine, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 10, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Juror number 11, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. And juror number 12, were these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, counsel and the defendant approached the podium. Not all the counsel, but just represented the sample. Casey, Marie Anthony, a jury of your peers, having found you not guilty as to the charge contained in count one of the indictment, murder in the first degree, at this time, I will adjudge you to be not guilty. As to uh, count two, the crime of aggravated child abuse, a jury of your peers having found you to be not guilty, the court will adjudge you to be not guilty of the crime contained in count two. As to count three, aggravated manslaughter of a child, a jury of your peers having found you not guilty, I will adjudge you to be not guilty of that count. As the counts four, five, six, and seven, providing false information to a law enforcement officer, I will adjudge you to be guilty of those uh, counts in order that you be fingerprinted in open court at this time.
has to be an open court. Okay, Mr. Baez, Mr. Mason, will you be prepared to go sentencing, go to sentencing Thursday or Friday of this week? Okay, then we'll set sentencing Thursday at 9 a.m. in this courtroom. Okay, are there any other matters uh, that we need to take up at this time? Nothing from the state, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, on behalf of the citizens of the Ninth Judicial Circuit, I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation for your service as uh, jurors. You are residents of Pinellas County, Florida, and we uh, came over there, uh, met with you, questioned you, and took you away from your families for a very extended period of time. And for that, I say thank you. As I told you when I first spoke with you uh, in talking about jury service, uh, that one of the most important obligations of citizenship, in my opinion, was service on a jury. I tell you it was very important that if we believe in that constitutional provision, that provision that provides a right to trial by jury, that it was important for people to serve no matter what that sacrifice would be. As you can tell by some of the questions that some folks answered, a lot of people did not want to serve. Uh, and uh, you, knew it would be a hardship, uh, and uh, you were candid with the attorneys. Uh, you answered all their questions, and you served. And for that, we thank you. I would also wish to advise you of some very special privileges enjoyed by jurors. No juror can ever be required to talk about the discussions that occurred in the jury room except by court order. For many centuries, our society has relied upon juries for consideration of difficult cases. We have recognized for hundreds of years that the jury's deliberations, discussions, and vote shall remain their private affairs as long as they wish it. Therefore, the law gives you a unique privilege not to speak about your jury work. Although you are at liberty to speak with anyone about your deliberations, you also are at liberty to refuse to speak to anyone. A request to discuss either your verdict or your deliberations may come from those who are simply curious or from those who might seek to find fault with you. From the media, from attorneys or elsewhere, it will be up to you to decide whether to preserve your privacy as jurors. Again, thank you. You're here by discharge, and I will see you shortly back in the jury room. Thank you. A clearly relieved Casey Anthony 